Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing hot cross buns. Yes, Easter's in the air. Or if you're watching this in the summer or watching this at Christmas, Easter's not in the air but you like hot cross buns all year round. And me. Please subscribe and please share and don't forget your recipe is below the video in the description and also you can find it on my Facebook page at Traditional Bakery. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. And for your recipe, you want 225 grams of bread flour. It's important you actually use a very strong bread flour. This is the one that actually makes the dough more so than anything. 28 grams of caster sugar, 28 grams of white shortening, 28 grams of egg, 113 grams of milk, 28 grams of fresh yeast, two grams of salt, and two grams of bread improver. Or you can use vitamin C. Well guys, before you start your recipe, the important thing is the temperature. Now for me, I know this room is absolutely scorching hot. It's 27 Celsius in here. Now that's far too hot for most kitchens. You wanna be around about 20 Celsius. Also, your bowl wants to be 20 Celsius. And you wanna get all your ingredients to around about 20 Celsius. Get yourself a little thermometer. My temperature in this room is 26 at the moment. And that's a really bit too hot. But that's because I've got all these lights around me and it's like a studio in here. Right, to start your dough, get yourself a whisk. And we'll start by putting the milk into the bowl. Your eggs. Your sugar. Now we're gonna break your yeast down. Now what we're gonna do is just give this a good whip up. Just mix it in so it's all dissolved in well. Like that. The next bit is fairly easy. Now we've got our flour. What you wanna do is put your fat in and your salt in your improver. And just mix this up with your hands. So you're making like a little bit of a crumb. Hence why if your temperatures are right, your fat will already be really, really nice and soft. What you need is your hook. Just pop your dry ingredients in and get your hook and just mix it round. It's just the start to form the dough. Just makes it a bit easier. Now you want your mixer. Right, now we're ready to go. The important thing is to make sure this hook is correctly fitted to your machine. I have actually heard a number of people who haven't fitted it correctly and have broken it. So what we're gonna do is just start this off on first speed for two minutes. Well, that's around about two minutes. So all we're gonna do is just get our spatula and just scrape it off. And just feel the dough, just to see once that started mixing, that'll go soft. So it doesn't wanna be like bread dough, it's a little bit softer than bread dough. So just check it, it feel, that does feel lovely. Now, the important part now, now we're gonna be mixing this on third speed. Now remember, your machine might not take the punishment like this one. So third speed is quite high and your motor will get overrun if you're not careful. So do intervals of one minute on, one minute off if you're finding your machines overheating. Right, we'll get her going. Gradually build up to the speed. Right, and that's it. For your hot cross buns, you want 14 grams of mixed spice. Now I prefer to use oil than this. 
and also 113 grams of mixed fruit. Now I've already actually added my spice to the fruit because I've used the oil. All we're gonna do is put our fruit straight into the dough. We're just gonna start this mixing round for about one minute on first speed. Whilst you're mixing this round, what you want to not do is break down the fruit. Because otherwise it'll look like the supermarket stuff. You want to keep your fruit nice and whole. Now we're going to sort of mix this in by hand. Because it's quite a lot of fruit. Right, now we'll pop it onto the table. And now we're going to mold it to get the fruit into it. And all we're going to do now is just cover this over with a cloth. This only wants around about five minutes. And for your glaze for your hot cross buns, you want six grams of golden syrup and six grams of hot water. And all you need to do is mix that together and that just makes that nice syrup. And for your crossing paste, get yourself a nice piping bag, preferably a plastic one. You can make paper ones, but it ain't much cop. And for the crossing paste itself, you want 43 grams of plain flour, 28 grams of water, and five grams of vegetable oil. And all we need to do then is just mix it all together into a paste and it's as simple as that. Our hot cross buns are now ready. That was only five minutes. It's quick stuff this is. Now you do want around about 10 out of this. So the easiest thing to do, all we're gonna do is pop it onto the scales and all you wanna be scaling these at around about 58 grams. And now all we need to do is mold them up nice and round. You can do it this way if you like. If you find it difficult, do it any other way. But I find it much easier just to mold them into the table using that palm of the hand and just pushing it in. Remember, if you only do it one-handed, you only get half the pay. That's what my old boss used to tell me. So the quicker you learn to use two hands, the better. Well, that's it. Now all we need to do is got our tray. Where is your tray? And what we got is baking parchment on here, or you can use silicone paper, or you can use grease proof. Right, it's as simple as that. Keep them well spaced out. And now we'll put our hot cross buns into our prover. Also, don't forget your water. Now we'll put our lid on. This box temperature currently is around about 23 Celsius. Now the heat of this in here will go up to around about 28 Celsius. So this is going to take, I would anticipate it around about an hour to prove up. So I'd look at this in around about, well, I suppose half an hour, just to see how they're getting on. I've checked the Oxfoss buns. They're not quite ready yet. So they're about half an hour away. So what we're going to do is pop our oven on. It wants to be around about 180 Celsius. Let's have a look at these buns. Let's see what they look like. Oh yes. They're just ready. So all we're gonna do is just get our crossing paste and put our cross on the top.
They're going to pop these into the oven. They're going to be in the oven for around about 12 minutes. So if it, you're like my oven, put it at six minutes and then turn them around for the other six minutes. We'll get them in. It sounds like my hot cross buns are ready. We'll turn it off first. Oh yes. There we go. And as soon as they come out the oven, wash them over with bun glaze. And then just slip them onto a wire to cool down. Well guys, it's as simple as that. Now if you want more recipes like this, please subscribe and please share. And don't forget, your recipe is below the video in the description. And also you can find it on my Facebook page at The Traditional Bakery. And don't forget, if you want any questions answered, pop them down below the video as well. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel in the Crazy Baker kitchen. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!